What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Be The Fish. You're back with another tournament video. Fishing the NYKBF trail again here in New York. And like every NYKBF event, you hear me get into it here, there's wind. More wind, 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 wind. It is the New York Wind Fishing Tour for, for 2024. And so audio is not the greatest you're gonna have another video on this youtube channel this year that is straight wind down the pipe kind of audio so bear with me on it but also the gopro i forget to click start for the first couple hours so i missed a couple catches but i do get the rest of the day on camera it's gonna be a day of flipping deep grass big worm summer fishing come along let's see what we can do what is going on everybody welcome back to be the fish at uh it's at the last regular season nykbf tournament today and uh you guys know the deal with nykbf this year every saturday every tournament for nykbf is freaking windy and we have that today it's uh, a good probably 10 to 12 sustained uh it's supposed to be south but this is straight east right now which I'm okay either way. You guys know me, I'm a little crazy and I'll go out regardless. But we're gonna be doing some shallow, but also mostly some deep water, largemouth fishing. So like big worm, drop shot, Nico rig, things like that. Just kind of hitting deep grass lines, steep edges that have hard bottom, uh, any sort of man-made structure that we can find. Uh, and then as well as some shallow stuff too, grass wise. Uh, brought the frog too, if we want to tuck in on any of these pockets, see if we can't get a kicker fish, but uh, we did this a few weeks back and uh, caught some pretty good ones. This is my favorite kind of fish in the summer, is picking up big worm, things like that, fishing deep, deep grass. I love deep grass fishing. And hopefully the fish love me today. <laughs> We're gonna find out one way or another. We got nine minutes till lines in. It's 6 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. Eastern. So we got eight and a half hours to uh, put together our best five longest fish. I'm excited, last regular season event. We have, uh, we're sitting in first right now for an angler of the year. Uh, our pal Forrest is in second, but unfortunately he can't fish this one. He wanted me to not fish it so that it'd be just us and States, but I can't let the foot off the gas. You guys, come on. I got four second place finishes and then one, I only caught four fish, so I only got four points. So I'd love to uh, get rid of that finish today and give ourselves a, a decent lead going into state championships to try to go back to back to back angler of the year. We're gonna see what we can do today. I'm excited, I'm gonna have fun. We're fishing. I haven't been on the water bass wise here in a little bit. So it's nice to get out, get out in the Hobie. See what we can put together. Come on. my GoPro didn't start when it was supposed to. So I have multiple fish that you guys didn't even see. Gotta love it. 
Oh, well, you'll get the rest of the six and a half hours. Sorry, guys. All right, guys, this camera's been in and out the whole time, but we uh, we got five. I've been having crazy camera issues today, more so on me than anything else, but I got 78 inches. I got two 17s, a 16, and two 13s we got to get rid of. This wind is not letting up much. horrible land job. I just couldn't get leverage on them. I was floating to them. Okay, but I get it. I get it. it might be an 18. I, I got it, bro. Chill. Please. Relax. 18 and a half. It's a five inch cold. There's a big one.
So I want to stop right here real fast and explain something to you guys really quick. For folks that are looking at this and they see that I'm ha I have forward-facing sonar on my kayak, I want to explain something to you really quick because there's more to some forward-facing sonar than just throwing a minnow or a forward-facing bait at one singular fish and picking out one singular fish. You can almost use it as a more in-depth, more accurate 360. It's really deadly if you could use it in tandem with Mega 360 from Hummingbird, but um, even in this scenario, Mega 360 would be just as useful as how I was using forward-facing sonar. And what I was doing essentially is identifying with my side imaging on my Hummingbird Helix unit where those grass points were, where the hard bottom were, was the where the isolated grass patches were off of the the uh, edge of that grass. You could even tell on side imaging where there were clumps of milfoil compared to other types of grass because milfoil ha obviously has a certain look, uh, appeal, and return on side imaging. And with that, like any other sonar, it changes as well. So with that forward facing, I could have done this again with 360. I'm using that to make super precise casts at high percentage uh, places. So it's whether it's pockets in the grass, whether it's grass clumps, I'm not seeing any fish. I don't see fish. Of course, you can go out in the edge and maybe see if they're moving along the edge or not. I was more worried about making, with that wind especially, making high percentage casts over and over because I was flipping and then dragging a worm. That's how I was catching a lot of my fish. So it's super productive and there's way more uses to the technology that you can learn a lot. And it's not in the name of strictly just catching fish. It's improving your process of efficiency to best help you set up to catch a fish if that makes sense this just made me super more efficient that day than obviously doing it a way that i've i grew up doing it which was fishing offshore with one graph 2d and having a waypoint on a map that i'm using boat positioning there's a lot of that into it that's how you set up on it but then the technology adds a further step to get you dialed so just wanted to run through that explain it hopefully that makes sense back to the video snack break. You know, I've come up here to where I'm eating. Flip around a little bit. They're saying this is 5 to 6. This is like 12 to 15. In another life, I would become a weatherman. I mean, I'm usually wrong as it is, but I get in trouble for being wrong. I love to not get in trouble for being wrong every single freaking time. Looks like I was supposed to be pouring rain today. That was wrong. But we're gonna get a, try to get a break from the wind a little bit if we can. Come back in here, flip and frog for a little bit, just to keep it honest. See where the day goes. Five inches we got to get rid of that 15 and a quarter
13. Littered with 13s over here, for damn sure. I was swimming that back. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. We ended up in third place. Uh, another great notch in the belt for chasing that angler of the year this year, which means all second places and a third. So sitting good going into the last event of the year, which is NYKBF State Championships. It's gonna be a two day event. Uh, and basically it's gonna be a lot of fun because we're gonna put a GoPro in forest kayak as well, because basically 
it's between me and Forrest for Angler of the Year. So two best friends going after Angler of the Year title. It's gonna be a lot of fun, a lot of drama. Uh, we're gonna put a GoPro in his kayak and uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna hang out with the guys, but uh, great event here. Um, got crushed, so I have a lot of learning left to do there. Definitely gonna spend some more time when I see that co coming up on schedules to try to figure it out, because I definitely missed something there to go find the bigger bite. Uh, obviously lost one that would have helped that might have put me around closer to, to second place um, but shoulda coulda woulda and simply put I just did not figure out the winning pattern but happy to walk away with a good finish hope you guys enjoyed this video like subscribe we have more tournament videos coming up we'll see you on the next one peace